urban farms. Uh, we have about three acres here, uh, another four on the hill. Um, but I am the, my name is Kari Diop, first of all, um, and I am the manager for the community composting lab. Um, to my left, we have the farm manager, and he's going to introduce himself. He will be in charge of the tour. I was just here to welcome you guys. Welcome. <laughs> welcome. <laughs> Take it away. Yeah. All right, yeah. Take it uh, away, Amico. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my name is Amico. As I said, I'm the uh, farm manager, farmer, uh, operation manager here. We, um, I've been here since 2020. America, um, and they're amazing. They are. There's no shelf life. Yep. Oh. You said no shelf life? That's why very, they're not common yeah. in the stores. Yeah. 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 I mean, they're, they're, we, we have them everywhere. <laughs> yeah, they're amazing. So, um, so I grow in I grow in zones. Um, as you can see, I got zone one, zone two, and then we got more in the back. So we'll just walk through. Like I said, y'all can pop out questions if you think of them. That over there is okra. Um, I measured it uh, about a month ago, and it was 12 feet and three inches. So oh, my God. I'm sure by now it's 13 feet. Um, I'm working on saving seeds now. And, what are you uh, feeding that thing? <laughs> I've never I had okra books. grow that tall. Yeah, yeah. Um, You're reading uh, uh, Green's coming in for the fall. And then I got amaranth back there, the red, the red right here. Red um, I keep it on the sides as a trap crop because oh, pests okay, love to eat yeah, the leaves, yeah. so it keeps them off, off of the other plants. And you said that other company uses it for... They use for hair, for yeah, they use it in their hair product. Or yeah. uh, not dye, but they uh, use the grain in their hair product. Oh, I'm not, okay. I'm not sure exactly. Because I, I grow it for, um, I grow some as well for uh, seed saving thing for the tainted marriage. Right? Okay, yep, yep. And then you can make a uh, flower and, yeah. and stuff like that. Um, so I got eggplant all in there. Got some late season cucumbers and flowers. Um, so let's do a little circle around. Here. Oh, Right here, um, they came all the way up and were going crazy. Those aren't the grapes on there. That's a different type of berry. But earlier in the season, we had grapes growing all up here. There were Concord grapes we plant in each of the um, little raised beds. <laughs> Bottom part. Um, yeah, the boxes. What are they called? And they went crazy. Those berries? Um, those porcelain. Are porcelain. 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 Yeah, porcelain. porcelain. Yeah. It's poisonous. <laughs> it's no good to eat. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, porcelain, they're not, they're not oh, yeah. supposed to, you're not supposed to eat the porcelain. Right? Y'all keep coming around this way? Uh, they, uh, I'm, I mean, I, I'm, no of Shanika Mosley, who's our local one, but no, I haven't had any. Uh, you know, she has. Yeah. We got more. These are, these are a persimmon trees right here. We have three persimmon trees. And they're going crazy. We just did a heavy harvest. I have some in the cooler. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, persimmons. Um, I have. Uh, I think we harvested 50 pounds last week, so I still have some in the cooler. Mm -hmm. Yep. Persimmon tree. Like I said, I have those available for anybody else. Um, all right. We come back here. These big bushes you see are hibiscus. Um, the wind was going crazy last week and it knocked some of them over. But well, you can see how big these bits, like stalks are like, these are trees. Yeah, straight up. Yeah. I don't even, I don't understand how the wind knocked them over so much. Like that, the wind did that. Yeah. How, how do you consume this? One vegetable? So, um, so the people are familiar with the calyx, the, um, the flowers, but you could eat the leaves as well. Try it. Like you gonna take this? Yes, sir. It is sorrel. Yeah, these bitter, are all this. But yeah, you could try a piece of the leaf. It tastes like lemon, apple. What you, what you think? Mm, uh, pretty much lemon. Uh, so I planted them off the seed. 
mostly um, for value addition. Uh, well, the flour. I, the flour is a C. It's a tea. You know what I'm saying? People use it as a tea. I have some down here that do flour though. Dry them out um, and, and then turns into it's like um, bisa tea. People call it sorrel. Mm. It's like a West Indian drink. You dig? And then also like a Nigerian drink. Or a lot of West African countries drink it. But this is not sorrel. No, it's not. There's two types of sorrel. So the sorrel is the leaf, the perennial, and then sorrel, the flower, the drink that people drink. So it's different. People with different cultures call it different things. Mm. So these are the flowers that you, you know what I'm saying that you're used to. Um, but like I said, not all bushes flowers. So that's what I was asking you. I was like, how do you, like, I know I'm trying it for the first time this year. And I got, like, really poor. I got a lot of leaves. That's male and female. That happened in Philly last year where everybody who grew it didn't get any calyxes. But then this year, everybody, we got so many we didn't know what to do with them. Oh, wow. So it's just a seasonal thing, you maybe think? I think so. Okay. But yeah. then everybody gets their seeds from the same place, too. Okay, so. yeah. I was wondering. I got, the, I got a company uh, that mixed bread okra seeds in because I had some of these plants that were coming up and producing okra. Mm -hmm. I was like, so yeah, man, I, I sent it back. I was like, yo. I thought that I was just getting a bunch of vegetating <laughs> bush, but I wanted the flower. It's like a toothbrush. toothbrush. They were. They're delicious like that. I think they're male and female. But I planted them off the seed um, early this season. So I thought they, they all looked the same at first. Let's go. Right. <laughs> So these are all pep bell peppers over here. Um, 